Rollins. Will Tony the Tiger Ruko pounce on the Mega Crack? Can Jesse Punk Cohen stand out from the competition? Or will home run Holly Richardson score a grand slam and a perfect score? Do you have it? I'm Mike O'Malley. Welcome to the Extreme Arena. This is Nickelodeon Guts. Do you have it? <laughs> It takes a certain kind of person to get the body working to the level of precision that's needed to be risen to the top. Do you have it? It takes a certain kind of something to keep the heart pumping, something everybody needs to achieve to succeed. You need a lot. Do you have it? Do, 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 do. do you have it? Imagine Emmett Smith on a sweep right. He's headed for the touchdown. He's hit fumble. Oh, and you got to get after it. In our next Elastic Sports event, Fumble, our players are going to be heading all over this floor going after some loose balls. Let's go to our referee, Mo Quirk, for the rules. Hey, Mo, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. You're a fireball today, I Mike. am on fire, Mo. Yes, you are. It's frightening, man. Well, each of our players will have 45 seconds to recover as many fumbles as possible. Players may grab more than one football at once, but only the footballs in each player's basket will be counted. The player with the most recoveries wins. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, and so with that whistle, the time starts to run out. And you see right there, our purple player, Holly, getting thrown to the ground. And with the score right there, that's Tony, the Tiger, put a little bite into that football. And our players, let the reaction time's got to be very quick in this event, folks, because as one of your opponents goes one way, they will pull you the opposite way of where you want to go. And so it is extremely important that you have the power to push and pull your way to every loose ball. You see the balls coming out of that cylinder. It's raining footballs on the ground. And you see in red, our player right there, Jessie, has two balls in her hand, but as she gets pulled to the ground, there she does with the score right there. And blue looks like a score. Another right there with red. Okay, so you saw it's extremely important once you have the football to make a decision whether or not you're going to hold onto it or try to make it back and put it in. Let's go to Mo and get the results. Mo. Well, both Tony in blue and Jesse in red uh, recovered five fumbles each. So in third place is Holly in purple recovering four. <laughs> Okay, so our players right here, this is Tony the Tiger, resolved to putting that into the bucket right there and with a nice little dish tying for first place points. He's got five recoveries, put them in the bucket, and that means he will share 300 points, I believe. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard standings. Mo. Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Tony in blue and Jesse in red. And in third place with 100 points, Holly in purple. All right, and that is only our first event. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, so let's take a look at our event lineup. Mo. Well, first up today was the ferocious football event, Fumble, and coming up next is our track event, Blade Runner. The second half begins with the Space Race Zero G, and then it's time for the Guts Classic Slam Dunk. And as always, Mike, our last event is the Mega Crag. All right, so an exciting competition to start off our show, but folks, we got more coming up. Someone's going home with a piece of this awesome rock, and right now it's time for Tony to spill his guts. Hi, my name's Tony the Tiger. I wanted to be on guts because it's some pretty crazy stuff, and I'm a crazy guy. Our next event is Guts on Wheels. We like to call it Blade Runner. And our super duper players will be making their way around the track in some pretty hairy obstacles in this inline skating race. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, our players will race around the track. Players must negotiate each obstacle before moving on to the next one, and time penalties will be added for any missed obstacles. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so Tony is up first. Now remember, folks, he goes into this event tied for first place with Jesse. So he, as the blue player, will be setting the pace that our other players will have to challenge. And strongly going through the sack attack and making it through the car wash, he comes down over the bump and dump and boom, coming right across. That was Tony. Let's go to Mo and get the official results. Mo. Tony clocked in at 18.6 seconds. All right, Tony. I'm sorry. I didn't want me to start you right there, but uh, have you ever worked on these uh, inline skates before? Yes. All right, so what part of your training helped you in this event? Um, probably my street skating. Your street skating? Yeah. Okay, so let's go and see what our next player, Jesse, can do. Mo. On your mark, get set. All right, and so that's Jesse, and she makes her way around 
the track. The time to beat 18.6. She's gonna really have to power her legs to that motion. She needs a lot of confidence, a lot of speed right here. As going through those obstacles, she can't get deterred. Making her way through, it doesn't look like she's gonna make the time to beat, but she still needs to go for a personal best, as Holly is still yet to go. As she makes it across, we'll get the official results from Mo. Mo. Jesse clocked in at 22.5 seconds. All right, so 22.5 seconds. Well, definitely the tie will be broken between Tony and Jesse, and now Holly is ready to go. On your mark, get set. All right, so Holly is really gonna have to blaze out with some serious power. She's a little bit taller than our other players, so these obstacles going low might be a little bit more difficult for her. The time to beat, as you can see, 18.6. She's really gonna have to make it fast around these other turns and hustling over our final obstacles. It's gonna be close right here at the finish. She's gonna have to hustle, folks. All right, so a little bit slow right coming after that other obstacle. Let's go to Mo. Holly clocked in at 20.1 seconds, so that puts Tony in first place. Holly in second place, Jesse in third place. Okay, so Holly, with the 20.1 seconds, will get second place points right now as we take a look at the replay. Right here, our winner, that was Tony. And Tony making it through the sack attack. Nice work. And he set the pace for this as the blue player. Very important to set a fast pace because the other players have a chance to beat the time that you set. And now let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Well, Tony in blue is in the lead with 600 points. In second place is Jesse in red with 400 points. In third place, Holly in purple with 300 points. Okay, folks, well, we got more action coming up. That's right, you come back. It's the Mike and Mo halftime show and a little zero G. In the Mike and Mo halftime show. This is Mo. I'm Mike. And folks, it's been a great competition so far. Perfect game for Tony the Tiger. And we'll see who's going to take home a glowing chunk of our awesome rock at the end of our competition. What do you think about it so far? Well, I think that Tony, of course, is doing great, but uh, he's still got some uh, competition ahead of him, I he think. He certainly does. A couple more events. Let's take a look at some highlights from our first half. Yes, Mike. Let's go. Here we've got our fumble event, and you'll see uh, Holly taking it pretty hard here. Boom! Boom! Back she goes. That is the tough part of fumble. But here's Tony lunging for this ball, and boom, in it goes. There it is. Takes a little pause. And here's Jesse scooting away around very, very fast. She's a little limbo thing right here. And you'll see that it's very hard to keep in control. She nearly goes off the uh, track there, but she manages to stay on. And this is Tony zooming his way around over the ramp. And see how he keeps his speed up right here. This is the key. Your speed right over that finishing line. Tony knows what it's all about. We'll see what he can do in our next event. I know you got to get back down yes, to our indeedy. field for Bye. our next event. We'll see you later, Mo. And right now it's time for Jesse to spill her guts. Hi, I'm Jesse the Punk Cohan. I play defense for a soccer team in Kissimmee. One of the craziest things I've ever done is probably when I painted my hair pink for a soccer game. Okay, so Guts, the next generation. That's right, Guts in space right here, folks, as our players are gonna be horizontal, trying to make a race through space at zero G. Let's go to Mo for the rules, Mo. At the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the zero G track. Fastest time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, Tony with the perfect game on the line. He's gonna have to really pick up the pace. He's starting very slow. So I don't know what his strategy is, maybe to calculate his way around the obstacles, but he's gonna have to pick up the pace and gain some mo faster momentum here, folks, because it is a race not only against the clock, but against the forces of zero gravity here. So he's pulling himself across. He's going over the last hurdle right here, right there, that black hole, and has trouble as he crashes in to our track right there, crossing the finish line right there. So his hesitation at the beginning getting started might have hurt him. Let's go to Bo. Tony clocked in at 28.3 seconds, Mike. Okay, folks, so take a look as you see Tony stepping down off of our aerial bridge. He's going up into the black hole and right over on the first one and comes crashing right into our track and then trying to pick up the pace right there. So we'll see what uh, if Tony can hold on to his perfect game right now. He's just giving you a little wave right there. So setting up next, we will see Jesse. Now, Jesse goes into this event with 400 points. 
So we will see if she can beat that time of uh, Tony's and, and get a quicker start here right now. Remember, jumping out to take maximum advantage of zero gravity will help them get the good speed here. So let's go. On your mark, get set. All right, so that with that whistle, they will start the clock right after she goes over that starting line. And she's picking up a little bit more pace right here. She gets over the black hole, comes crashing into the hurdle, but it hasn't slowed her down that much. Look at her pick up the pace right here. So Jesse, at the edge of nothing, is doing great time. She has split his time right there and has to hustle at this final turn. And nice work. Look at her flying. She came crashing in, folks. But if that time is official, she will, t she will be now our leader in this event. Let's go to Mo. She is, Mike. Jesse clocked in at 21.7 seconds. That's the time to beat. Excellent, excellent time. Almost six seconds faster than our last player. Take a look at this leap right here. She comes flying across and then goes head first. Boom. But blocking herself with her hands, she then powers herself over the finish line. She's all right. She's giving you the thumbs up. She likes that event, folks. And we're now getting ready for a Holly to get situated in our horizontal harness. And she has to completely reorient her thought process to be running at zero G. And it looks like she is at the starting line and ready to go. On your mark, get set. All right, so a race against the clock and a race against zero G. Holly needs a good finish in that one. Right here, right over the black hole in the hurdle. She's making great time, folks. She goes into this event with 300 points, and she definitely has the speed that Jesse has. Good control. Let's see what she can do over this final hurdle. First place points on the line. Will she make it? Oh, but that time's official, folks. She took that challenge, and getting right back into it, let's go to Mo. Holly clocked in at 20.8 seconds. That puts her in first place. Jesse in red in second place. Tony in blue in third place. Folks, we have a terrific competition here today, and Holly right back into the thick of our competition with this finish. Watch that leaping, hurtling motion. I tell you, she got to get ready for the Olympics. She did fantastic work on that. Terrific with the finish right there. And let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Well, Tony and Blue is still in the lead with 700 points, and tied in second place with 600 points each. Jesse in red, and Holly in purple. All right, and we have Holly right down here on the floor. Now, you went into that event with 300 points. Can you describe to us what were you were thinking in that event? I just figured I had to go do something because I was in third place. I had to better get my good start and just hop over the things the best I could. You did an excellent work in 300 points. And right now, as a matter of fact, it is time for Holly to spill her guts. Hi, I'm Holly Richardson. I'm a sports fanatic. I was valedictorian of my eighth grade class. When I'm not playing soccer, volleyball, or tennis, I'm an all-star third baseman in softball. Well, our next event is a Guts Classic, the mother of all elastic sports. I'm talking about slam dunk, folks. And our players are going to be let loose about 12 feet high, see if they can put some balls through the hoop. Let's go to Mo. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will grab a basketball, jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up, and shoot. They'll have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible, and baskets will only count if they are shot after the player has touched the ground. The player with the most baskets at the sound of the horn wins. Players, on your mark, get set. So one event left before the mega crag. Let's see what our players can do. And right there, blue scoring. That's Tony with one, and he got back up. Oh, having trouble getting back up to his rack of basketballs. And right there, you take a look at Holly. She's going high and not a very good shot on that hoop and having trouble getting back up. Now, it's extremely important to have a quick return to get back up to the bridge so you can maximize your shot attempts right here, folks. As you see, Jesse right there just off the side of the backboard. And both Jesse, here's Holly right now. We'll see if she can put the hoop and get her momentum down right there. And oh, just off the rim. As we see, Jesse and Retta having trouble. Tony picking his momentum up. We've already seen him shoot, put one shot in, and there with another. Now Holly sees if she can pick up the pace. There's the slam. There's a little rubber breakfast right there, folks. Let's see if she can put another one in the hoop and get this score here. She's got her momentum down. There's another one right there as time runs out. Okay, so as the horn sound sounds right there, Holly had got her momentum down. She was uh, picking up the pace as our other players right there were having trouble getting back up to the elastic aerial bridge. Let's go to Mo and check out our results. Mo. Well, Tony in blue and Holly in purple tied in first place with four baskets each. And coming in third was Jesse in red with no baskets. 
All right, folks, let's take a look at the replay right here. You want to see a little slam dunk, elastic sports gut style? Look at this. Say hello to the rim. That's Holly putting it through the hoop. Great work for her. And let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard before the crag. Mo. Well, Tony is in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Holly with 900 points. In third place is Jesse with 700 points. Okay, folks, what a competition right here. All our players very tight going into the mega crag. What are you expecting to see there? Uh, to win. <laughs> to win, to win up the mega crag. What do you think going into this next event, Jesse? Um, probably just do your best and watch out for the surprises. All right, Holly, now in that last event, you had a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of tenacity going up, putting it through the hoop. You're going to attack the crag with the same sort of fervor. Yeah. All right, folks, well, we're coming up to the mega crag. That's coming back next. So you stick around. We got a big, bad mountain to climb, and we're going to get there. You come back. The crack coming up. Welcome back to Guts with a competition. Oh, it's about to take on the mega crack. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. After four events, Tony in blue is in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place, Holly in purple with 900 points. In third place, Jesse in red with 700 points. Let's take a look at some second half highlights right here. And here we take a look at Tony in our event, Zero G. Now right here, folks, if he had gotten a quicker start, he might have had a perfect game on the line right here because he took first place in three events. But in zero G, he was a little bit tentative going over the force field hurdles. The story here was all Holly. She went into our second half with 300 points, but had an awesome finish in zero G. She got first place in that. As you take a look at Jesse going up to the hoop and putting one through. And then Holly coming right back with sheer force. Watch this thunder dunk of hers. Hello, 300 points in a first place finish. And right here, also a first place finish. That was Tony in that event. So right now, the competition has been hot so far. It's about to get even hotter. In fact, the competition here on Guts has gotten so hot that our crag has taken on a new molten color. Now it's mega, mega large, mega sharp, and mega challenging. From its very core, the shard zone has erupted into a tangled mass of petrified lava. Our players, en route to the top of that peak, will now encounter Stone Ledge, a horizontal rock climb making the final actuator at the top of our peak harder to hit. They're going to have to pull themselves over that at the top of our mountain. And also, en route to the top, they will trigger obstacles like snowstorms, floods, and nuclear flying crystals. They're going to have to fight their way through the smoke, through the snow, and make their way to each actuator, hitting them and getting to the top of that mountain. And of course, awaiting them at the base of that mountain is the sound and fury of a dormant volcano ready to blow. I hope our players are ready. Let's go to Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now during their climb, our players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one, at the peak of the crag will receive first place points, Mike. All right, folks, so an identical side of our mountain for each of our players to climb. They have been through four awesome events so far today, showing their athletic skills in a number of different events. Now it all comes down to our mega crag, so let me remind you. Our points have skyrocketed in this event. Third place being worth 375 points. Second place, 550 points. And first place, 725 points. Right now, our leader going into this event is Tony. He is in blue, in red. That will be Jesse. She has 700 points. As you take a look at Tony, there's Jesse. And in purple, with a great second half, that's Holly. We're gonna find out who's gonna win this mega crag, who's gonna take home the gold, who's going home with the Guts Trophy, an awesome piece of our glowing rock. Kick it off, Bo. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, and the thunder clouds are roaring as our players begin their climb up our mountain. And right there, still on Boulder Canyon, it looks like Holly's in the lead in purple. She makes it to her second actuator, and there's Jesse in red. 
and she continues her climb, but right there looks like Holly's in the lead as she fights her way through the snow. There's Tony, our leader, but only 100 points between Tony and Holly. Now, Purple is way ahead. Tony is completely confused out there. He's looking for his next actuator. He missed an actuator. It looks like Holly. It's all Holly. She's way up on top, way out in front. What a second half performance. Now we're going for second place right here. So Tony still has missed an actuator. He missed another one. He's going back down. Jesse looking through the shard zone, trying to find that actuator. So you see them now at the top at Stone Ledge. The toughest part of our course as they try to power their way to the top. There's Tony locking in in second. And then Jesse will lock in in third. An unbelievable performance by Holly, our purple player. She's giving you a little pose down right there, giving you the number one side. And it was a great performance by her flying up the mega crag. Let's go to Mo and find out if these results are official. Mo. Yes, Mike. In first place on the mega crag, Holly in purple. In second place, Tony in blue. In third place, Jesse in red. All right, so there are the results, and you take a look right here. Tony was looking for what the next actuator was. He was having trouble finding which way to go right there in the shard zone. Uh, th and there he realized that's what was the actuator that he missed. You see right here, way out in front was Holly in purple at the right-hand portion of your screen. She's way up on top at Stone Ledge, all alone at the top of the crag. Incredible strength. She really had a... Fantastic comeback performance here today, folks. She locked in with first place points at the top of the crag. A fantastic performance. I can't describe it with more enthusiasm. She was unbelievable in our second half. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings. Mo. Here we go, Mike. Our mega crag making all the difference today. In third place, Jesse in red, 1,075 points. In second place, Tony in blue, 1,550 points. Our winner today, Holly in purple, 1,625 points. All right, and so the bronze medal going to our competitor, Jesse. Fierceness on the Zero G, you remember her. She had great speed and great finesse, a great competitor. And the silver medal will be going to Tony the Tiger, that's him. That's Tony, getting the silver medal. He was great all day long, taking first place in three different events. But the story of the day, folks, is Holly. Give Holly the gold medal. The gold medal. She deserves it. She had an unbelievable performance here today. I'm going to go in there and talk to her. Holly, you got the gold. A great performance. Your second half. What were you thinking going into the crag? I knew I had to win it because if I did, then I wouldn't win. So I had to put it all I had in certainly did, and she climbed that rock. She tamed the rock. Give her a piece of our awesome rock. She's going to take the Guts Trophy because she most certainly deserves it. She holds that high for everyone to see. A magnificent performance. Never say die here on Guts. There's always a chance you can take home a glowing piece of our awesome rock. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. See you next time. Do you have it? Unstoppable endurance on that you you're trying your best and not all things are possible. Hold us unfolding, thing you're holding, persistence and courage together you're molding. Sure, shot, super clock on top, non stop. Go get a good sport, good times you got. You see your goal, you're reaching, you grab it. Now ask yourself. was recorded in front of a live audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios, Florida.